Hey guys, welcome to Your Adventure Compass. Today, we're at Ingham County Fairgrounds, just south of Lansing, and we're here to check out Jack Lanterns Unleashed. They've got a barn that you enter in through, and there's all kinds of inflatables and stuff inside. And then we're gonna go through a big trail with all kinds of hand-carved pumpkins. So come join us for this fun, festive adventure. As you can see, the walls are lined on both sides with all kinds of inflatables. This one's pretty cool over here. The eyeball is moving back and forth. Thought that was pretty neat. Never seen one like that before. And over here, check this out. The spider is wrapping up a body in a web so he can eat him later. That's pretty cool too. Over here, we've got some fiery ghosts. And over here, a horse-drawn pumpkin hearse. And Frankenstein. Over next to Frankenstein is a witch. And check this out, guys. You got a hot rod, hot rod hearse with a coffin. And I think there's a surprise in here. It looks like that coffin lid is going to open. Oh, check it out. Oh, there's a vampire in there. That's pretty cool. There's Patrick. Got a big old pumpkin arch over here. And a giant minion over here. Over here on this side, there's a creepy cat. And a couple of smaller inflatables here. There's lots of photo stations, by the way. And uh, that's what these are right here. Got some backdrops where you can take your photos. This one's kind of cool. Maybe we should do this one. This one here has got neon, says Jack O' Lanterns Unleashed. And over here, we got a nice fall setup. There's even a tractor over on the other side here. And it looks like they've got a souvenir stand. Off to this side, selling light sticks. And there's even a snack area over here. Check that one out, guys. This one's uh, movie themed here. Got a little director's chair, clacker board. Well, guys, we decided to get some of those donuts. They're little mini donuts. They look pretty good. And some cider. So we're going to enjoy before we get started on this walk. Guys, check this out. They've got the Home Depot skeleton band in here, and they're jamming out, playing some good tunes as well. Looking over here, right across, there's a bar, and you can get your different beers, wines, and things like that. There's also plenty of seating in here. There's really nobody in here right now. But if you're looking to warm up, They've got heaters inside here and plenty of tables to sit and eat or drink. All right, guys, one other thing I want to tell you, they do have glow golf. Check this out. There's an entire room filled with a setup here to do glow golf. And you know how I love my glow golf. Check this out, guys. They've got all kinds of fun stuff for the kids to do. They've got a little fun house here for the kids to climb through. Looks like a good time. And then there's a building over here. Looks like this building, you need to get a wristband. It's $12 a wristband. And inside here, there's rides. They've got swings over here. There's a little mini pirate ship right over there. There's a uh, fishing game back there. And there's a bunch of bouncy houses. Looks like three different bouncy houses in here. So I, I guess all of this is included for the $12 wristband. I do not know if that includes this or not. It didn't, uh, didn't say, and I didn't see anybody checking wristbands out here. So I don't know if that's part of the uh, $12 deal. And right over here, they've got yet another fun house. Check this out. They've got two of these. Um, and right next to this one, they've got some games. If you're good with darts, you can uh, pop some balloons and win some prizes little midway here and they've also got a food truck over here and it looks like the food trucks got uh, looks like burgers hot dogs wraps tacos chicken fries desserts and tater tots 
Looks like they even have some salads too. And oh, there's a deep fried apple with ice cream as well. So quite a bit of different things here you can get. If you did not get a chance to eat, you can always grab some food here if this is something that you don't mind eating. Well guys, as you can see, there's a lot to do here and we have not even started the pumpkin trail yet. That's coming up. It's, uh, it's right in front of me right now and I'll turn the camera around so you guys can see that. And all those lights that you guys see in the distance over there is a big long trail with all kinds of pumpkins and I think it's gonna end up somewhere over this way. And by the way, that building right there, that's the bathrooms in case you guys are looking when you get here. So I think we're gonna head down and start the pumpkin trail. All right, guys, just a quick warning that some of the uh, music will have to get blocked out, as you can hear right now. I will be blocking that out, but I wanted to show you guys this pumpkin tree. Check this out. There's all kinds of cool carved pumpkins up here. Really cool looking. Pretty neat. All right, guys, well, I had to block out the original audio for this because these pumpkins are singing to Metallica's Enter Sandman and that would get me a copyright strike. So just enjoy the visuals and the Halloween music. And I also wanted to point out to you guys that they do have some fire pits over here. You can come over and warm up. Or if you bought one of those s'mores kits, you could probably roast it right here. Oh, that feels awesome. And check this out, guys. There is pumpkin tic-tac-toe. They have black pumpkins and they have regular pumpkins. And you can play a game of tic-tac-toe with the pumpkins. How cool is that? That's right here over by these fire pits where you can warm up. Oh guys, there is nothing like a nice warm fire when it's cold out. Feels awesome. And check out these pumpkin scarecrows. These are kind of cool. Got a bunch of them. And then down here, we've got a bunch of pumpkins as well. Oh yeah, this is really cool. Check these out. There is a ton of really cool pumpkins. My gosh, look at that giant one. He's cool too. And check this out, guys, over on the other side. There's a bunch more of those pumpkin scarecrows and more pumpkins. Let's take a look. And we have our light tunnel, the first one of the season. Always enjoy these good light tunnels, they're really cool. And we've got pumpkins on both sides. See that orange over there? And there's some here on post. Let's go check these out. And check these out, guys. This is a bunch of pumpkins that have been kind of uh, mashed together and turned into a train. It's really cool. There's actually uh, not just the uh, engine there. We also have some cars. 
pulling more pumpkins. How cool is that? These are really, really impressive. These are all hand carved, by the way, not all real pumpkins, but all hand carved. So that makes them uh, pretty impressive. They were all pieced together. Looks like these are uh, maybe foam pumpkins that were pieced together. I don't know if they glued them or what they did. Halves of pumpkins, and then they got lights behind them and they carved them all. Really cool. And over on the other side here, we've got a bunch more. Check these out. These are pretty cool. See uh, Spartan there for MSU. We got the big uh, the S there, of course. Another Spartan over here, a couple of them actually. Pretty cool. Guys, check this out. It's a witch made out of pumpkins and she's surrounded by pink and green pumpkins. Or is it purple? It looks pink, but I think it's, no, it's actually supposed to be purple. Really cool. And over here in front of this American flag, there are pumpkins with the insignias for all of the uh, branches of the armed forces. Very detailed, very cool. I wish I could get a little bit closer. This is the best I can zoom in right there, guys. But uh, really, really detailed. Very, very impressive. And over here, we've got some animals. We've got a pig here made out of pumpkins. And check this cow out. That's pretty cool. Got a uh, chicken down here, a little uh, baby duck maybe. Got some eggs over there. And there's a horse in the stall here. Pretty cool. Got some bunnies down at the bottom here. And even a sheep. Pretty cool. Another sheep over here. And some more chickens. Check these out, guys. Looks like we got some superheroes. There's Iron Man. That's really impressive. That uh, That is a lot of detail there. And uh, looks like next to him, is Wonder Woman. How cool is this one? Tons and tons of detail. It doesn't even look like it's car. It looks like it's, it's painted on there. This is pretty impressive. Oh my gosh. Look at that one. Really impressive. And then we got the Hulk over here. That's pretty cool too. And over here is Spider-Man. Check him out. That's pretty cool. And last but not least, there's Cap. Captain America. All right. It's, it's Fred. And that's Scooby right there. Let's see who else we can find. Obviously all the villains. Yeah, they're shaggy. Check them out. That's awesome. They've got a photo up here. Scooby-Doo, where are you? Jinkies. ruh -ro. Zoinks and Jeepers. All their famous cartoon sayings. That's pretty cool. What do you guys think? So far, I'm pretty impressed. There's a lot of cool looking pumpkins. And the stuff here is just really over the top. It's very well done. And continuing on with Scooby-Doo, there's a mummy. And check it out, there's Velma. And, oh my gosh, how cool is this? Up here, Daphne. But wait, check this out, guys. It's the mystery machine. How cool is that? <laughs> this is really nice. Good job, guys. This is uh, the whole Scooby-Doo section. Very awesome. And guys, check this out. Look at that. It is a fossilized dinosaur. There are all kinds of pumpkins with bones and claw marks. And guess what else? There's even full-size dinosaurs. How cool is that? They have pumpkin dinosaurs. 
Very, very cool. Lots of uh, smaller pumpkins down here on the ground. And wow, check that out. There's a T-Rex on the back over there. How cool is that? Oh, are those Velociraptors? Oh, wow. And there's a volcano in the background, guys. Can you see that? It's steaming. Surrounded by little lava-shaped pumpkin faces. <laughs> That's awesome. I wonder if it erupts. That'd be cool. Got another one over here, a really big one. This dinosaur section is really cool. There's a couple of smaller ones over here. Over here, this tree is lit up in purple and green. That's pretty cool. I don't know if you guys can see the colors are very, very vivid. Wow, that's really cool. Well guys, it looks like we've entered the world of Harry Potter. And speaking of Harry Potter, there he is. Pretty detailed, huh? Really cool. So detailed. Yeah, that's impressive. And guys, before I move on any further, I should probably point out that it is a full moon tonight. I believe this is called a full harvest moon. Check this out right in front of me is Hello Kitty. And then we've got Snoopy. I think that's uh, Blue. Winnie the Pooh. And SpongeBob. There's a bunch of pumpkins up here. Uh, I'm not sure because I'm not familiar with it, but somebody said Veggie Tales. And if you guys know what that is, leave a note in the comments. So. I know. Is that is that Veggie Tail pumpkins? I do not know. Not real familiar with that one. Just to point out, we are going to be heading up this way. There's a uh, giant Ferris wheel. Looks like a uh, funhouse mouth. And then we're going to come back down this direction. And off in the distance, there is Hollywood. So lots to look forward to, and still quite a ways to go. Here we go. This is the Ferris wheel. And tickets are five cents being sold by this pumpkin over here. Looks like a uh, pumpkin clown. We should go take a look at the pumpkin wheel or the pumpkin Ferris wheel. And right here, a giant pumpkin Ferris wheel. I don't know if you guys can see that, but uh, each, each little section has a pumpkin all the way around it's my my daughter's taking a photo right now now I pointed out the uh, the giant funhouse mouth there's a bunch of pumpkins out in front of it pretty cool huh Check out this skeleton here on this pumpkin. It's kind of cool. And then there's something else up here. What is this one? This looks like a spider web with spiders. Oh, that is cool too. Pretty neat, huh? Well guys, it looks like we are gonna head into this building. I don't know exactly what is in here, if anything, or maybe it's just heated, I'm not sure. But that's where we're headed to next, so let's find out. Well, this is unexpected. There's a bunch of pumpkins that have stars carved into them above. 
and you're probably wondering why. Check this one out. Looks like it's got the uh, the moon. I guess that's the moon carved into it. And the reason is there's aliens in here. Check them out. These three aliens look like they come in peace. And there's some pumpkins that have planets on it. So let's check them out real quick. That's pretty cool, isn't it? Wow, look at this one, guys. That's pretty cool. Big old Jupiter. It's even got some purple in it. Wow, super impressive, huh? There's another one on the other side. It looks like Saturn. Let's go check that out. Oh yeah, that's really cool. And we got some more aliens over here. It's like another, another Jupiter here. Pretty cool. And of course, no, uh, no alien scene would be complete without some sort of UFO. That's look, looks like that's what this might be here. Now these aliens are a little bit different. They've got uh, some antennas. And they're uh, pumpkin shaped. How interesting. Hmm. Pumpkin aliens. There's even one up inside this UFO here. I don't know if you guys can see that. It's a little dark, but uh, looks like he's flying this thing. And guys, the Oscar goes to. Here's the red carpet. It's time to walk the red carpet because we are about to enter Hollywood. I'm kind of curious to see what pumpkins they're going to have up here. This should be interesting. And I'm not kidding, it is a red carpet. <laughs> it's paparazzi taking pictures over here. Check it out guys, it's Lucille Ball. That's pretty good. Oh wow, this one's really detailed. Check that out, it's Robin Williams. That's impressive. I hope the detail's showing up on this that, that I'm seeing because it looks like a photograph. It's, it's impressive. Got uh, Marilyn Monroe over here. Will Smith. I should have put him over next to the aliens. <laughs> I'm not sure of all of these. I, I, I'm not sure who this is. There was a couple others. I think this is uh, Leonardo DiCaprio here. And all the friends are kind of hanging out. In front, keeping them company. Guys, over here, we've got the Sanderson sisters, Hocus Pocus. Check out these pumpkin ghosts. They're pretty cool. They're all white. All right, guys. It looks like we're entering the pumpkin graveyard. This is pretty cool. Lots of scary pumpkins in here, too. Look, ooh, there's a skeleton over there. Check him out. That one's real creepy looking. Oh, and look at the eyes on that one there. There's another skull. Another skull right here in front. Oh yeah, really creepy, huh? Oh yeah, this is really cool. Love all these pumpkins out in the graveyard here. 
then I have to turn around and uh, backtrack a little bit because there's more on the other side and I can't uh, can't do both at the same time. This is really neat. All right, guys, I backed up, went to the other side. This is the other side. There's a crypt over here as well. Check this out. There's a skeleton. Actually, two skeletons. And it looks like they're... Uh, maybe that's a bathtub. I'm not sure what they're doing. They've got uh, some, some shower caps on their heads. So, oh, check this out. There's a bat carved on this one here. That's really cool. You know, guys, I do a uh, cemetery at my house for Halloween. And it's been a few years since I did it. Uh, the past few years have not been kind as far as the weather goes. So the weather's bad. I usually do the inflatables, unfortunately. But uh, anyway, the weather is looking good this year. And I'm planning on doing the whole cemetery and setting that out this weekend. Got some new additions for it this year as well. If you guys are interested in seeing that, let me know. I will, uh, I'll, I'll make a short video and maybe throw that up on the channel if you guys are interested. Chris P. Bacon. <laughs> I love all the funny different things they put on these. There's some mean pumpkins there. I told you I was sick. <laughs> oh, these are definitely cool. Check this out. It is the creature from the Black Lagoon. This is all the horror icons here. There's Michael. Uh, this is awesome. There's the werewolf next to Michael. We got Chucky right here. And then we've got uh, the monster and his bride. There's Freddy. Next to him is Jason. And we got the uh, the mummy here. And over here it's Ghostface. And of course, Dracula. And over in this area here, it looks like they're all flowers with some bugs on the ground and some frogs. See some spiders in there. These are pretty neat. Some butterflies. Over here, these pumpkins are all strung up on a rope between these two poles and they're all bats. That's pretty neat. All kinds of bats carved into those pumpkins. Very cool. And right over here, it looks like we've got like a uh, castle set up. I can't quite tell what's carved on these pumpkins. Not exactly. Oh, yes, I can. It looks like the, uh, the one on the top there, I think that is, I could be wrong. Maybe it's the beast. Uh, I think this is a uh, Disney thing. It looks like uh, there's one of, uh, there's Belle, I think that's Belle. And it looks like the Disney princesses on these three in the middle here. Not, uh, not quite sure. That's what it looks like to me. All right, these are absolutely amazing. I'm gonna zoom in real quick so you guys can see these in detail. They're a little further away. This is a Day of the Dead display, and oh my gosh, the detail on these is absolutely stunning. Check that out. Really, really cool. And then uh, down below on the ground, you have all kinds of different colored flowers and designs carved into the uh, pumpkins in front of them. Really, really cool. Check this one out, guys. There's a skeleton driving this old car. And this pumpkin right here, it's got a witch riding in front of the moon. That's pretty cool. 
And right over here, I believe that this is Taylor Swift. And check this out, guys. We've got both college teams here represented. Michigan right here. And over on the other side, it's the Spartans. U of M and MSU. And check these out. These all have names on them. I don't know if these are the people that carved them. I'm guessing it is. It's kind of cool. All these pumpkins over here with names. Over here we have the Looney Tunes. We got Porky Pig. Over next to Porky is Daffy Duck. And right next to him is Elmer Fudd. And then of course, Bugs Bunny right here, and Wild E. Coyote right next to him. Pretty cool. So from a distance, I thought this was a tree that was covered up but had lights on it or something. Oh no, that, my friends, is a tornado because we are now entering the land of Oz. And look right over here, it's Dorothy. That's impressive. And guess what else? There is another. Guess what else, guys? There is another light tunnel. This one's a rainbow. Check this out, guys. The house has fallen on the witch. And we are on the Yellow Brick Road. And check this out, guys. It's the Scarecrow. How cool is that? It's pretty neat. Over on the other side, there's the Tin Woodsman. some flying monkeys over here and right there is the cowardly lion that's pretty cool guys where else would the yellow brick road take you but to the land of Oz how cool is that very neat there is another field of pumpkins over here all kinds of different faces and carvings in these. And over here we got some owls. Lots of different owls. There's another one right here. And another one right here. And another one here. And a couple more right here. Well, guys, we are headed into the next building. And it looks like this one from these uh, little bobbers here is going to be an aquatic theme. Especially with all this blue. Oh, yeah. Check these out. There's some jellyfish. Check out those jellyfish. There's some fish. Really cool. Over on the other side, we've got some waves carved into these pumpkins. And guess what? It's SpongeBob. There is a giant SpongeBob in here. And I said those are waves. Maybe they're coral. I don't know. They kind of look like waves. 
Now, because here we've got some coral carved into these in the background here. Let's take a look back over on the other side. Got a uh, sea turtle right here. And check out this giant shark. Oh my gosh, he's huge. That's pretty cool. Watch the uh, fish swimming around as well. And there's another sea turtle. And over here we've got yet another giant shark. That's pretty cool. Oh no, check this out. Look what's on the other side. We've got some pirates. Looks like they might be playing a card game or something there. Sitting next to a giant treasure chest. And right in front of me over here is a giant pirate ship. How cool is that? Back over on the other side, another sea turtle. And we've got some more jellyfish over here. This is really cool. All right, guys, well, we just had to do it. It's s'mores time. These fire pits feel so good after walking around in the cold. All right, guys, you knew I couldn't leave without doing a little glow golf. So here we go. We'll see how, uh, how good. I haven't done this in a while. Oh, I am rusty. That was bad. Great shot, and it took me two. All right, guys, this one's got a tree stump. Let's see how we do on this. Not, not so good. Two. Oh no. I, I'm doing terrible. There it is, hole in four. All right, guys, I'm gonna try this one-handed. I've had good luck with one-handed putting in the past, so we're gonna see what happens here. This one's got a little bit of a, uh, a ramp at the end, so we gotta, gotta get it uphill. Let's try, see how we do. Oh, not good. All right, well, it's gonna be a five, so, or six or whatever. So we're just gonna call that one. All right, let's try this one. This is just a curve. We'll see what we can do in this. Oh, hole in one. Did you guys see that? Wow. First try. I do better with these angled holes, and I don't know how, but I did well on that one. All right, hole number six is kind of cool. It's a little graveyard. And check them out. We got a skeleton in the background here. My wife just got a hole in one, so... Uh, I think that the challenge has been thrown down. Let's see what we can do. Nope. Maybe a hole in two. There we go. And over here we got a bunch of neon lines and then at the end, some spiders. So maybe these are spider webs. Let's try it out. I think I'm gonna move this over a little bit here. It looks like it's lined up better. All right, let's see how we can do. Hole in one. All right. All right, this one here is a little deceptive because there's a bit of a hill coming up. Let's see how we do on this one. I wonder if I can bypass the hill. Probably not. Maybe we jump it. I don't know. Let's, let's give it a try. Oh, I had a feeling that was going to happen. We are stuck in this divot. Let's see if we can get it out. Oh, I can't even get it out of there. That was terrible. Well, that's not so bad. All right, let's see if I can redeem myself. We have another straight shot here. Oh. Well, guys, the mini glow golf was fun. And not super challenging and you know, only so much theming. I think these are portable 
uh, mini golf stations for each one, but still really nice, and it was donation only, so you know, we gave them a few bucks, and uh, we had about 15 minutes of fun. Nine holes, not too bad. Well guys, we had a lot of fun here at Jack-O-Lanterns Unleashed. We really enjoyed all of the really cool artwork that was carved into these pumpkins. Really unique displays, lots of fun. The glow golf was great. Uh, had some s'mores, the donuts, the cider, all kinds of fun festivities for people to enjoy. If you guys are interested in coming here, you can uh, find them at jacksunleashed.com and they're located just south of Lansing. So if you wanna come out to the Ingham County Fairgrounds, definitely come check it out. Guys, if you enjoyed this video, give it a big thumbs up, click on that compass to get subscribed to see more great content just like this. And remember, adventure is just a short drive away.